Parents of a teenaged Aboriginal girl left for dead on the banks of a Winnipeg River last week say she is getting better every day. 16-year-old Renelle Harper was out with friends when she was attacked, sexually assaulted and beaten. Two people have been charged. Her father told reporters today that Renelle doesn't even remember what happened. And he had a difficult time speaking when asked about the first time he saw his daughter after the attack. First time I saw her at the hospital. I don't know what was going to happen to her. And she, she was really... Look so bad, beaten. So I was thinking about prayers that helped us, and it's really hard to forget what I saw her at first. So I'm, I'm so glad she's going to be alive and well. Cameron McIntosh was at that news conference, and he has more. Well, Reshmi, sitting here and just being a few feet away from uh, Rennell's parents, it was very easy to see that these are people that are in a lot of pain. They are experiencing a lot of sadness, and frankly, they're experiencing a lot of anger as well. And, uh, you know, they had a hard time getting the words out. In the beginning, they uh, said that they didn't want to speak, but then um, her father spoke a little bit and thanked the community and uh, thanked everyone for their support in their prayers and thanked the Winnipeg Police Service also. Her mother um, then began to speak, and uh, very softly, very quietly, but uh, told us that Rennell is doing well, that she was moved out of the ICU. She is now in Children's Hospital here. She's improving every day and said to her mother that she even wanted to go to school possibly as early as this week. Now, that won't happen, but she says that Rennell's spirits are high, that she's a strong girl, she's a tough girl, and she's trying to move past this and is seeing past this. We also spoke to them about uh, that decision to, to name their daughter in the media uh, before the arrests were made here. They said that was a decision they made in concert with the police and that they're happy that they made it. And that is a pretty extraordinary decision to publish her name. It is, it is. And, you know, Winnipeg Police, they, when they did it, they came out saying, listen, this is a brutal, brutal crime. We want to put a name and a face to this and that they were hoping that that would help speed up the flow of information. And it did, according to police. It even uh, helped uh, awareness within the police service itself. Today, Rennell's parents, I asked them directly, well, now that people have been arrested, are you still comfortable having your daughter's name out there? Are you still comfortable having her photo out there? And her mother answered, yes. She said that she feels that Rennell is a hero. It's not that they want to politicize this, but they do see their daughter as a role model. Violence against women, of course, is a hot button issue in this country. Violence against Aboriginal women has been a big issue here in Winnipeg and Manitoba and across Western Canada for quite a long time now and there was an appeal here from uh, some chiefs involved with uh, Rennell Harper's community also from uh, some of the um, Aboriginal leadership here in Manitoba that society here take a real look at this and take a real hard look at violence against women be it Aboriginal or be it against any other culture and that this is an issue that really needs to be addressed and if there's one takeaway from Rennell Harper that that would be it. That's Cameron McIntosh in Winnipeg. Rennell Harper is from Garden Hill First Nation in northern Manitoba, but she was living in Winnipeg while going to school at Southeast Collegiate, a high school for Aboriginal students that's owned and operated by nine First Nations in the province. Students and teachers at the school made her this get well card for Harper. The school reopened yesterday after a long weekend and counselors were brought in for students. Now, the school also says it's working with the RCMP to help teenagers adapt to city life when they arrive from Northern Reserves.